Thank you very much for kind introduction. My name is Tosa. <laughs> First, uh, the, uh, what is lacking in computer? Many things are insufficient in computer. In order to coexist with a human being, there is something which is indispensable in computer. The role of the computer so far, uh, from the beginning, uh, is created for computational purpose, to calculate for algorithmic pass. Uh, purpose. But uh, now this is serving as a kind of external memory of a human, um, not just uh, memory. When we are thinking in many ways, computers are supporting our process of thinking. However, uh, there is no literacy in computer. At the same time, yet uh, the computer infrastructure is developing so remarkably and the world is now connected by them. Connected, yes. However, in retrospective, the communication quality among us, us, us means a human being, is very shallow. Well, we are in a way networked, yet uh, kind of personal communication extent or depth is very shallow, I feel. Why is this? I thought it in many ways. Infrastructure to connect, network the world, uh, there should be a kind of a universal element, universal element is extracted. In that process, we just throw away local element. However, when it comes to the depth of communication, I think that depth really resides in the part that we throw away, we disregard it, a kind of ethnicity or local culture uh, kind of things. And so that the local uh, ethnicity or racial characteristic should again be recreated upon the web, upon the computer. So now comes the cultural computing. I am proposing the cultural computing because of that uh, past history. As is introduced, myself is in the media art and also the research area as well. So the uh, art and technologies are both area of my own work. And the further expanding, I am expanding into the culture and the, the technology. And interesting enough, the art and when, I, when we say art and technology, no problem occurred. However, when I change the word to culture from the art, there comes a lot of the issues arising. The art is one, should I say, discipline of the culture, a kind of expression of the uh, cul uh, culture. That is art, which sometimes is a very indigenous one. The culture. Uh, inherently has something very local and also the common, which is a universal uh, ubiquitous anywhere in the, in the world. We have IT technology very well matured. So why don't we utilize the IT technology uh, to uh, uh, to really look into what is made and what it, we are doing uh, yet again? So so in the interaction using IT tool, uh, we should be able to express the culture. Uh, so I created several systems for that purpose, and uh, I just defined them as cultural computing. It's an interactive one. Um, we analyze, making model, and integrate them. That's uh, methodology. But the, that should be understood by our mind or heart or be impressed in our heart. That's the important point. By doing so, the culture and the technology is related very closely. So, experiencing the culture in many ways, technology is uh, supporting that experience. <laughs> For example, uh, the big uh, Buddha in Nara, 
uh, when the Buddha was uh, Buddha image was made uh, 1,300 uh, years ago, it was a big technology to make that huge Buddha statue. And then that was inspiring yet another culture to come out in those days. What is changing our lifestyle, for example, is a cell phone, iPhone, contents of our phone, so forth. Yes, that technology is now changing the lifestyle of the people. So the technology and the culture is always very closely linked. And today, what I am proposing today is that something which was not the object of the computing so far, which is the aesthetic feeling of Japanese people, which was not hardly the target for research in the computing field so far. For example, there are uh, lots of uh, source of uh, Japanese culture, Japanese aesthetic sense, like a wabi or sabi, mm -hmm. which is in a way austere refinement or quiet simplicity, which is a really root of our flower arrangement or tea ceremony. <laughs> Japanese culture is uh, originally from China or Asian continent. So there is uh, intimate relation with the Asian continent, especially China and Japan. Uh, suppose the Garden of China, lots of water there. However, when it comes to Japan, it's dried up. It's called Kare Sansi, the garden without water. However, you feel the existence of water without a real water. It's a kind of negative subtraction art. It's a kind of a landscape painting of China, very high, sharp mountain. And the right hand side is a Seshu painting of the mountain in Japanese uh, painting. So it's how it's, it's showing how much mountain is drawn in both Chinese and Japanese artists. But the culture was transmitted from, originated from China. However, it, when it comes to Japan, it has transformed. And one big feature of Japanese culture is uh, unity of uh, uh, Buddhism and Shintoism. Eight million gods are united. And those Shintoism, Buddhism, unity. That's one of the very important element to compose in Japanese uh, culture. And Japanese language, Japanese language give light to uh, various uh, culture like a haiku poem of Matsuo Basho or the oldest uh, uh, story telling of Genji, story of Genji. And this may be well known to you because it's very showy. The costume design, for example, the no mask, and also the kabuki play, or this is a kind of uh, Japanese dying of yuzen, and uh, this is the magnification of the detail of this uh, yuzen dying. And furthermore, uh, this is a kimono pattern. It's a very, what we call the avant-garde. It's very progressive pattern. So uh, these kinds of a technique of mitate or kisoi, a kind of aesthetic element is come and tattooed in the composition of a kimono. So Japanese culture is a very subtle, delicate. And I summarize the Japanese culture in Japanese language. What I have shown is summarized in Japanese words. So uh, when we compute the Japanese culture, there are kind of a profound element supporting Japanese culture. Japanese climate, relation with Asia, unity of Buddhism, Buddhism and Shintoism, the characteristic of Japanese language and Japanese design. Now, coming to the Japanese climate, wabi, sabi, or mono no aware, uh, which is a kind of a sense of um, evanescence. Well, the fragile interface is considered to support all those traits of Japanese culture. What is a fragile interface? Okay, so from here, you are surpassing, crossing the border of uh, into the another world, there, another world. 
I think those words you are familiar with somewhere, well, those are the elements which creating that uh, border line or the lie in between here and there. This is visible first time, but uh, become a blurred and obscure as you go, t as you approach there. So surpassing that uh, border line is that you are trying to enter into the uh, uh, another world. The culture uh, originates from the marginal to the center. It originated from the periphery to the center, from the counterculture to the major culture, from avant-garde to the mainstream of art. Starts from the margin, from the periphery. That's that right. Now, in the periphery, in the borderline, there are like huge elements, many elements uh, hiding. It is a no stage in Itsukushima Island. Here is what is hashi, called Hashigakari, the bridge or corridor, corridor from the backstage to the no stage. So backstage is a metaphor. Uh, this Hashigakari is a metaphor of uh, uh, coming from another world to this world, from this world to the another world. It's a kind of a border area. And when we say otozule, the visit in English, uh, also means that we take along or bring in sound with us. So the sound connotates something is coming, although you can't see the substance, subject, but uh, something is coming with you. It's an atmosphere. It's a kind of sign or indication. You accompany sound with you. That's the origin of otozule visiting in Japanese language. Well, uh, in a very cold season, February two years ago, in the Kamo, Kamigamo Shrine, Kamigamo Shrine is a World Heritage Shrine. There is a Ikazuchi no Kami, which is a god of the thunder, and the Toshinori Kondo of the trumpeter. Uh, I did the kind of a performance to show how this otozure, the accompanying the sound, is performed. So this is not in the word. It's a kind of uh, a kind of ideogram, uh, the kind of a love character before the character is firmly established as a system. And next is something weird, something, so uh, something that you are wrapped and you are wrapping something. It's a uh, opposition of the Eros as and the Thanatos, man and woman, God and man. And uh, this is a haiku poem of Ryokan. The uh, momiji or kinds of a maple leaf is falling, showing back and the front side of the leaf to us. So this can be positive and negative, and there is a bit, uh, kind of a in between. It's a very subtle shadow area, but uh, feel, give the feeling of richness, for example. This is a kalesansi, the dry garden, just a rock and sand, sand to express the existence of water. And uh, this is a situation of a conflict. Takekura is a famous novel of Higuchi Ichio. And the, the girl who is a straightforward as well as very wicked, which is a, who is a stubborn, who is uh, uh, having the conflict inside her mind, uh, who is a hard mind, hard-hearted girl. And uh, in Nishida Kitaro, who is a uh, philosopher, uh, in expressing that mind as an absolute nothing, absolute contradictory self-identity. She is weak, she has a contradiction, but uh, she moves straight forward. This Japanese likes very much. Japanese have a kind of negative mind in there. We have something lacking, insufficient, non-existence in our mind. However, next step is like. Suki can be expressed in many Chinese letters. Suki is a simple, rich, coming from the word, verb suku. Suku is uh, in ja making Japanese paper. 
It's a simple yet rich. So, suku is a pure, having noise, having a, like Japanese, simple, pure. And suki, play suki. Is that、uh, people who are sharing the same taste and the same elegance? They are persistent. But、uh, the two suki, two taste, deviate, slide, slip a little bit,、uh, very subtly. Then that sense of the host and guest can be communicated. And a very similar word in French is the shik, tick. And、uh, As you know, this is a Hong Ami Ko at、uh, box.、Uh, this is a Rimpa, a、uh, Rimpa cleft,、um, the box,、uh, the container. As you know, in the, in the middle,、uh, it's、uh, kind of a convex one, too much、uh, swelling. This is one of the suki, the taste. And as you know, Rimpa, the Tawalaya Sotatsu, or Ogata Kolin pictures, are very representative. One and the influence of the limpa overseas is like this、uh, this is a river, the flow of the、uh, uh, water, the swirl is uh, uh, impacting the crimped austere artist. Of as you see, the pattern of the tree of the grimped、uh, is. Based upon the Ogata Collins painting.、Uh, next is the algorithm of、uh, Omokage, a kind of a shadow or a very、uh, faint memory. Omo has many Chinese characters as well. Then Omo moves.、Uh, this uh, Omo uh, proceeding, the look appearance, and the interesting on the right hand side. So if you are thinking something very strong, Strong. Something is very far from you. However, if you think of it very intently, you are able to see it. Actually, the substance is not non existing, but you have a sense as if you have that matter. So, I have an equation nothing plus being equals become. So, As Zeami asserts,、uh, Ushin or Mujo was mind and the transience or、uh, nothingness. And、uh, Saigyo, who, had the, who made a poem about、uh, Cherry Blossom,、uh, who, is, who became a priest out of his suki mind. Next is a neotony. In science fiction, there is a sense of neotony depicted. Ghost in a shelter or many、uh, SF、uh, novels depict neotony. But neotony did not. Uh, uh, it, neotony was there. It's a kind of a Peter Pan in Western analogy. So he is adult. However, he has a boyish mind, nostalgic mind. And his、uh, old hometown and nostalgic landscape is nesting in his mind. So he's still very、uh, kind of infant, yet he's growing as an adult. It's a kind of kawaii or cute. The kawaii is a very fashionable word nowadays, and this is also the neotony sense. And the Makura no Soushi essay of Seisho Nagon, she said that Nani mo chisaki mo no,、uh, everything is small,、uh, it's all beautiful. And next one is a hyper gender, hyper gender, transgender, which existed from the very past, not the current fashion. The oldest one is a Kanon Bosastu, which is the,、uh, um, the goddess of mercy and the Buddhist saint, and also the Oyama of Kabuki play female role by male actor. Those are the transgender examples. So, Gender did not exist、uh, from before. So we artificially create a gender. We have done this in Japan in the very old days.、Uh, in our aesthetic mind, we originally had a transgender mind. And Utsu and Utsutsu. Well, this is close to the、uh, unity of Shintoism and Buddhism. Utsu、uh, is not existing, it's a, it's a dreamy virtual world. Utsutsu is existence now, reality. In between Utsu and Utsutsu, there is Utsuroi, a kind of transience. 
Well, we often say God visits us, God comes to us. In order to accept and receive the God, we have a festival to welcome them. So the God and Goddess comes and we welcome them uh, in a festival. And in, when the festival ends, they return to a faraway place. Meanwhile, in the process, there is a utsuroi, a transience. And when we express utsuroi in Chinese character, many Chinese character applies like this. Uh, the one utsuru has uh, move or migrate, taken photograph, show, reflect. All those represent different meaning. So, uh, when it's reflected, it's a shadow. When it's uh, a shown, it's a color. Uh, like so what is object the um, uh, color in this world or moon anything so the target of utsuroi uh, is very hard to grasp the identity of them is very hard to grasp so uh, those small landscape in the mind is very transient we can't capture it and one of the example is this uh, Hakusegawa Tohaku painting and this shows the utsuroi feeling transient moving uh, fading away and haka nai haka Haka is a memory, but invisible. So haka is invisible. Uh, so invisible one is mixed. Uh, invisible memory creating something. Haka is a unit of invisible. Haka accumulated. And finally, you feel something. You can't capture it. Only you sense it. it uh, you are setting it free. You are letting it go. So, pursuit of the haka is uh, ushin yugen, transience in spirit, and by uh, Fujiwara Teika, the famous poet. And so, on the basis of all those abundant feeling, uh, how can we computerize those culture? Now, I'd like to show you some of the example. First one. I call this as a genetic computer. Genetic computer. What is this? So Zen, uh, to model the element of Zen, and then to use it as to awaken yourself. It's an interface to awaken your mind. What is it? Express, uh, ex I am expressing to you. Uh, sounds very hard to capture, hard to grasp by uh, you, Western people. So oh, I have an image of a tradition and the Buddhism in order to uh, integrate, to give a form to that uh, sansuiga or kimono and so forth are used. So, not just a superficial looking at the uh, sansuiga landscape painting, we have to use them as a uh, uh, means to capture that sense. So there are those elements like uh, mountains and so forth. You can compose the sansuiga painting by having those elements in the picture. The sansuiga, uh, Japanese ga, uh, garden picture, has a special perspective, which is not the same one as a Western one. Uh, three from the top to the front, the parallel view, and from bottom to the very far away. It's a panoramic, panoramic perspective. Those three perspectives are incorporated in Sansuiga painting, and Sansuiga contents are shown having those uh, three perspective model created on the on the web. And next, I have to explain the use of the uh, Buddhist model, Govun, which is a kind of a model of human recognition, recognition of a human in Buddhist thought. It's a model to uh, recognize uh, uh, others' mind. Sometimes we use the psychological model of Western science. However, in Buddhist, we think differently. It's like a disciple and a teacher, uh, the dialogue between the priest, uh, 
priest and the disciple. There is a dialogue, so we use the uh, dialogue as a model. And uh, there are uh, five uh, fifth elements there. In, they are expressed in those direction of uh, four directions, and those are the five um go um. Uh, uh, this is a superficial color on top, and uh, as you go down, this uh, gives the depth. And this uh, will be recognized in the interaction or dialogue, and then deep um, step by step. As you go down, you understand the Zen deeper. And the characteristic of Japanese language, uh, we have a waka, haikai, which is a kind of a playful, joyful verse, and also the i plot, uh, which is a kind of a tortoise shell uh, written characters. Uh, alpha, we are different from the alphabetic, uh, phonetic uh, uh, characters. Those are the kind of ideogram. The character has a meaning, semantic, and those are combined in this I plot uh, total social project. So using the psychological thesaurus, we are connecting the semantic um, word, uh, character and the phonetic character. And this is a computer to read the air or atmosphere of the situation. So there is a context, love is blind. Now, uh, love is blind. Well, there are related words to those is of blind. And those blue colored portion is the uh, uh, word expressing the atmosphere of the uh, situation. Someone say love is uh, blind and to be or not to be is a next utterance. And that the two sentences were made so the air from the left top to the right bottom uh, changed I told you to be or not to be next phrase should be that is a question when that is a question is uh, uh, mentioned the air changed like this so from the beginning uh, something like affection and that kinds of uh, uh, word is in the atmosphere but uh, when that is question comes out the air changed to be more silly serious one serious one so you are able to visualize a change of the air and the uh, last example you see haiku uh, a short poem, so two words are taken to compose the haiku. I can't explain detail, uh, but this is analyze, analysis of the haiku. Uh, haiku database, the, a lot of the database about the seasonal words and the appropriate words and the sisolas are used. And for example, uh, not just that, uh, we have a Japanese design. Uh, the clothes or so costume, uh, like a uh, uh, kind of uh, overlaid clothes, layered clothes of hair and period. There are 12 layers of the kimono in uh, hair and period. And that uh, kasane is a layered cloth or the jacket is, for example. Uh, when we look at uh, these uh, Similarly, the gradation of the colors were extracted and they dye with uh, glasses and they make a combination of the colors in each season. And this seasonal colors uh, are digitalized in RDBD, uh, red, blue, uh, blue, green. And we come up with uh, our pattern often used in the Heian period. So the cosmos like this in the Genji story in Heian era should be depicted like this. And so this is a pattern of the cosmos in Heian period which are used in the costume of the day. And this kind of project is tied up with Nikon company, the camera maker. I tried this, for example, from the Western picture. Why don't we make a kasane utilizing Dali's 
picture. We try to make a layered cloth out of his picture. Now, so uh, the creative power of the Japanese culture software for global communication is a next topic. From this point, I'd like to ask Mr. Nakatsu to succeed me. <laughs>